Take me to your leader. We mean you no harm. That is my new mask. I just wanted to show it to you guys, see what you think. Uh, wifey got it for me. Uh, it's much easier because you don't have to worry about the breathing, you know, breathing your own carbon dioxide, creating that acidosis. I wore this one yesterday. Uh, I went to pick up dinner at a takeout restaurant and I wore this and uh, a fine older gentleman uh, tried to pick me up. So I must have been looking pretty. All right. Today we got the Orlando mug. Now, if you remember last week, we talked about the most expensive mug that I ever purchased was the one in Charlotte. Technically, this cost half as much uh, because this was the uh, second, this was where I was going when I lost my phone in Charlotte. Anyway, we're going to get started. Oh, I shaved for you guys as well, if you don't, didn't notice that. So, and it's for you guys because obviously... There's nowhere else I'm going today. Oh, also, you think about all the companies going under? What about Dollar Shave Club? I've only shaved three times in the last two months. Dollar Shave Club's going to be hurting. All right, we're going to read. These seem to be uh, pop culture Hollywood kind of, uh, kind of questions here. Things. All right, 400 were on. Out of 637 best things anyone has ever said, we're at 400. George S. Kaufman. Things are so bad on Broadway today, an actor is lucky to be miscast. <laughs> Damon Runyon, 401. The race may not be to the swift, nor the victory to the strong, but that's how you bet. A little common sense there. 402, unknown. The Jewish position on abortion is that a fetus is a fetus until it gets out of medical school. <laughs> Actor-producer Mike Douglas, Michael Douglas, 403. I'm impressed with people from Chicago. Hollywood is hype. New York is talk. Chicago is work. Chicago is also good steak. That's from me. 404, unknown. An empty taxi stopped, and Jack Warner got out. For those of you who don't know who Jack Warner was, he was a uh, studio executive from the olden days. 405, Gloria Steinem. I was waiting until we got one of hers. A liberated woman is one who has sex before marriage and a job after. I would say that's not necessarily a prerequisite, neither, but... Uh, I guess I get her point. All right, folks. I miss you, and I love you, and um, we're going to keep doing this. Uh, that's all. So see you tomorrow. All right? Check out my nice shave. Smooth. <laughs>